bad news is the cough is getting worse. But the amazing news is Dr. Aldous Leakey of the Dyad Institute says um, he can help. So they're going to fly me out for treatment thanks to this amazing guy. This is Greg, my amazing boyfriend. <laughs> Uh, new semester starts today. Holly sent me a picture of the new class. They look like a good group. Mr. Lamar, send me a card. You send all of it. <coughs> That's her monitor, right? Yeah. Sometimes I forget that you're mine. That's good. You kept her completely in the dark. She had this total fake hope. It's not fake. Not for any of us. The fact that she was naive did not compromise her treatment. You know, we are telling you everything now, but if you can't handle it... I can handle it. Don't be a bitch. That's what I thought. Doctor, we Better get ready. He lied. I, I take it you did a rotation in pathology, Dr. Carney. I did. <coughs> are, are you okay? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Okay, are, are you fine to help me with this? Because yeah, I, yeah, 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 I'm fine. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, the intestine has been uh, tied off. So I'm, I'm going uh, to cut it free. So what are, what are those sores um, on her lips? Oh, look, from the cyclophosphamine treatment. The same reason she lost her hair. So, um, it's not Wegener's uh, granulomatosis mm -hmm. or Church Strauss syndrome. Mm -hmm. It's got to be autoimmune, right? Yes, but unclassified. And immunosuppressives had limited effect, I think. But look on the uterine wall, the growths, they're more pronounced, more mature, right? So, this could mean that they have originated in the uterus and, and spread from there. That could be the cause of her infertility. Possibly. No, no, right now is not a good time. Back in the early 80s, genetics was like the Wild West. No one knew the science. The laws didn't exist, so they slapped provisional patents on everything. Like pissing on a fence post. Yeah, like leave it in legal limbo until the laws change or you can figure out if it's worth anything. They would still have to register them though, right? Back then, anything as advanced as synthetic DNA would probably have fallen under the military somehow. If Dyev was just a contractor, it could be a secret military patent. Hmm, that makes sense. Wait, how would, how would I find that out? I guess you wait until a guy in aviator shows up and tells you you're in violation. Scott, you're supposed to be my expert on genetic patents here. I just blog about it. Why can't I come work for you on this super sensitive shit? Delphine, why can't Scott come and work with us on the super sensitive shit? Because we'd have to kill his family. You hear that? That's fine. I applied with a letter from the dean. Hi, Scott. Bye, Scott. He's so cute. Did you get these? What? They're tissue test results from a stem cell line, one that I've never seen before. And they are... What? Compatible. With you. Really? But they were sent to me by mistake. They were meant for Vicky. He's supposed to share all the science with us. Why don't we have these cultures? I don't know. Because they're experimental or proprietary. That, that, that doesn't matter. I'll try anything. So will I.